Hello friends, myself Gaurav Jagdish Patak and today we are focusing on the topic of engine applied thermodynamics and the name of the topic is the fuel injection systems into the IC engine. The engine performance that is the power output economy is greatly depends upon the effectiveness of the fuel injection system and in case of carburation the fuel is atomized by the process relying on the air speed which is greater than the fuel speed at the fuel nozzle whereas in fuel injection the fuel speed is at the point of delivery on it is greater than the air speed to the atomize of the fuel in the fuel injection system the amount of fuel delivered into the air stream is going to the engine is controlled by the pump which is forces the fuel under the pressure now what are the requirements of injection system that is the fuel injection should occurs at the correct moment and it should supply the fuel in correct quantity as it requires by the varying engine loads the injected fuel must be broken into very fine droplets and it should be spray in pattern like that it ensures the rapid mixing of fuel into air it should be supply equal quantities of metered fuel to all the cylinder in the multi cylinder engine and it will beginning and the end of injection should be sharp the elements of fuel injection system are first one is the pumping element which is ensures to supply the fuel from the fuel tank to the cylinder second one important part is metering elements which is to meter the fuel supply as per the load and the speed the distribution elements are to divide the metered fuel equally among the cylinder and the timing control that is to adjust the adjust the start and the stop of injections the mixing elements which are to atomize the distribute the fuel within the combustion chamber what are the types of injection system that is air ba- air blast injection system in which the air blast injection system of the fuel which forces into cylinder by means of compressed air this method is capable of producing better atomization and penetration of fuel which results in high break mean effective pressure the system is little used universally at the present because it requires the multi staging of compressor which increase the engine weight and reduces the brake power the types of injection system which are the solid injection system in solid injection system the liquid fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber without the aid of compressed air and hence it is termed as airless mechanical injections or solid injection system every solid injection system must have pressure unit and atomizing unit depending upon the location of pump and injectors that the matters of their operation for the solid injection system may be further classified into the common rail system unit injection system individual pump system and nozzle system which called a distribution system in front of your screen what are the parts we have already seen are fitted and the line diagram shows the fuel system for diesel engine particularly started from air filter and ended at the flow end by sen- sanitizers this is the fuel supply system for ic engine now what is the common rail system that is in this system the high pressure pump supplies fuel to the fuel header as shown in figure and the high pressure in the header focuses the fuel to each of the nozzle which is located in the cylinder at the proper timing 
mechanically operated by means of push rod or rocker arm the valve allows the fuel to the cylinder through the nozzle that is the injectors which are at on the top of the fuel injection system and the high pressure slides high pressure pump fuel supply and headers are provided in the line diagram you can see this second one is a unit injection system in which the pump and the nozzles are combined in the both of one housing in which each cylinder is provided with one of these unit injectors and fuel brought up into the injector by the low pressure pump whereas the proper time or rocker arm activities the plunger and injector of fuel into the cylinder the quantity of fuel injected is the controlled by the effective store of the plunger now individual pumps nozzle systems are separated into the figure the separated pumps and the plumb clusters are there in which the high pressure line and the high pressure pump are provided for particular lining and high pressure line for high pressure pumps with high pressure and low pressure pumps for fuel supply are given the nozzle system and individual pump system are used for this system and each cylinder is provided with one pump and one injector this type of different from unit injector in the pump and injector which are separated from each other that is the injector is located on cylinder while the pump is placed on the side of the engine each pump may be placed close to the cylinder or may be arranged into the cluster the high pressure pump plunger is actuated by arm and it is produces the fuel pressure necessary to open the injector valve at the correct timing the quantity of fuel injected is again collected by the effectiveness stroke of the plunger the distributor system r the pump which is pressurize the fuel also meters the time and the fuel pump after metering the required quantity of supply which rotating to ball distribution correct time of supply of the cylinder since there is no there is one meeting element in each pump the uniform distribution is ensured now what are the injection pump the main objective of the fuel injection pump is to deliver the accurate and meter quantity of the fuel under the high pressure at the correct instant of the injector fitted to cylinder there are two types of pumps generally used wise jerk type and distributor type fuel delivered by the pump increase with the speed while the opposite true about the intake this results in the fueling of higher speed at the low speed the engine tends to start due to sufficiently fuel to overcome this injector pump governors are generally used there are two types of governors are found application wise mechanical governor and pneumatic governor this is all about the fuel injection system friends we will see the another topic in next topic thank you friends